Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're just going through the dunes, Port Aransas, Texas. Those two need to put some clothes on. Going to the beach and showing naked elbows and kneecaps. <laughs> this guy needs to put some clothes on. We're going to let him slide though. He's got a dog. He's got an awesome dog. Good owner taking his dog for a walk. Cool kites are in the air, guys. It's around 80 degrees. The sun is out. There's a nice breeze going on. It's going to be a good day. Kind of over by the South Jetty. Watching the boats go by. We've seen some dolphins. We saw some turtles. There is a ship in the Corpus Christi ship channel. It's heading outbound. Good morning, Kevin. That is the red moon. It is flying the flag of Liberia. That's a crude oil tanker. Going about 6.9 knots right now. This is the last part of the ship channel. Leads out into the Gulf of Mexico. The red moon is 274 meters by 48 meters and was built in 2012. It's even got a waterfalls from my friend Bree on Waterfall Wednesday. Check out Bree's channel, guys. She's in the Pacific Northwest and on Wednesdays she goes and looks for waterfalls. There's a link in the description. Her channel is TGIF. Matter of fact, in the description is a link to a lot of channels that I watch. Good people who support me and I try to support them. It's been a good day, guys. Really peaceful over here. You saw this morning's video. We were watching some people trying to surf the waves from the big ship that was coming through. Big ships, actually. This is the South Jetty. It goes way out way out even further tides a little low right now must be family playing on the rocks day huh <laughs> I have a good amount of ship channels on a uh, ship videos on a playlist I have called the ship watch if you like to see the big ships come through And if you keep hearing big engine noises, it's not the ships. Those are small boats going by and the trucks. Most of these ships I've found are, for their size, run pretty quiet. And watching the ships is one of my favorite things to do. I use a free app called the Vessel Finder. Vessel Finder. There's a version you could pay for. I use the free app. And there she goes. Out to the Gulf of Mexico. I'm going to go meet my buddy Paul for lunch. Meeting up with my buddy Paul from Cleburne. Trying Mac Daddy's. I've never tried Mac Daddy's. Heard Nothing but good things about it. Paul's never eaten here either. 
They got a decent sized menu. A lot of good barbecue food, burgers. Servers were real nice. The entire staff actually that we dealt with was real nice. Barbecue plates, crisp and crunchy. It's too many choices for me. Casual dining, kind of somewhere between a restaurant and a barbecue joint. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. They have an adult beverage menu. Thought I'd show that to you guys. It's noon on a Sunday. I am not drinking. You know, it's too late for my traditional breakfast beer anyway. Giggle juice sounds interesting, doesn't it? A mojito. Mojito. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying everything on here. Just one every visit. They got Shiner. All right, I like this place. I find it hard to believe I've never eaten here. Like I said, I've heard nothing but good things about it. I got potato salad, cream corn, and jalapeno and cheese sausage. Paul got, I believe, baked broccoli, chicken, and mashed potatoes. I was actually disappointed with the way this stuff looked. Sausage, delicious. <laughs> like, really, really good. Cream corn was not what I was expecting, and it tasted amazing. It's in like a buttery sauce. Uh, corn and jalapenos are in there. It's much better than any traditional cream corn I've ever had. And even the potato salad didn't look good to me. It was really good. Paul, thanks for buying us lunch today. I appreciate you, sir. You guys, try Mac Daddy's in Port Aransas. That was an excellent lunch. Thank you again, Paul. Boy, they got more kites here in Port Aransas today than they did at Kite Fest in Rockport yesterday. But it is about perfect weather for it. Lots of flags on the beach today as well. I'm not sure what that one was. What's that, some type of dragon? That's really neat. The dunes are so pretty. Look how dry the sand is. We just had that super heavy rain two days ago. And all this high wind and uh, sunshine the last few days has it back to powder already. That's really cool. Hey, I got a joke from my buddy RK Matt. Why did the cowboy buy a dachshund? Because he wanted to get a long little doggy. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Appreciate that, buddy. This area is pretty filled in, but it's crowded uh, where the bollards end, these little poles down the beach further. They're not there, and you could drive right up to the water. I was down there a bit ago and you actually had trouble finding a spot. But after that weekend weather we had and uh, people come down here, they're going to get out and use the beach. They actually said uh, just yesterday, Monday and Tuesday, were supposed to be rainy. And now they put that off till Thursday. So I do like to keep an eye on the weather, but I, I don't plan my, my stuff around it. When I wake up, and stick my head out of the truck. If my head gets wet, then I know it's raining. Kind of a combination of the Texas flag and the come and take it flag. These lighter winds though, the water's a lot calmer than it has been. No undertow warnings today. Very peaceful and relaxing. And I'm in love with the dunes today. There's a pelican uh, shadow right to the right. <laughs> yeah, the things that spots are definitely getting pulled in. 
Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.